everyone. I'm James and I'm a CBT therapist. And today we'll be talking a little bit about Clark's panic formulation. His model suggests that panic attacks are triggered by either internal or external cues. For instance, the heart racing from running up the stairs could be a trigger, as well as getting some frightening news. The person then has an appraisal, such as something bad is going to happen to my body, or this is too much, I won't be able to pay my bills. This then starts the autonomous nervous system and creates anxiety. Anxiety comes with uncomfortable symptoms. When these symptoms reach their max, they can appear different and scary. For a panic attack to happen, the person will need to misinterpret these symptoms as dangerous. When the symptoms are seen as dangerous, this causes even more anxiety and the cycle continues until there is disabling fear. What often happens then is the person will avoid places or add in behaviours to protect themselves from this feared outcome. Unfortunately, these behaviours become a crutch over time and add into the idea that they wouldn't be able to cope without them. They also prevent the person from challenging the core fear and learning that the symptoms aren't dangerous. <laughs> 